Hi guys, so today's video is going to be something that I am sure all of you have been waiting for or expecting at the very least. It is a review on Snow Like Ashes! I still don't own the book. This is a library copy that I bought on my Kindle. It is set in this alternate world where these countries are divided by seasons. So they have the land of spring, winter, fall or autumn, and uh, I'm missing one, summer. Each of these lands has a climate that corresponds to their season. In the opening of this book we find out that the land of winter has been completely ravished and destroyed and the only survivors of winter are either in these work camps or they are part of a small group of refugees which our main character is a part of. The story follows young Mera, I believe that's how you pronounce her name, I'm sorry. I don't want to give too much away, but basically Mera is part of this group of rebels who managed to escape winter um, when spring came in and destroyed everything. So Mera, along with this small group of rebels, is trying to find this locket which holds the power of their land. They're trying to restore winter basically as a country and to give the prince his land back and his power to rule back the country and basically just rebuild everything while destroying the evil kingdom. It's very difficult to explain because the magic in this book is so fascinating. All these seasons rely on one central power for their source of magic, but source of power has been completely lost through the ages and all the power that they now have responds to one relic, I guess, that they each represent. So the winter, it is a small locket and it was torn in half when it, it was just, you know, when they were destroyed. And I think I'm making it sound a lot more complicated than it really is, but it really is fascinating. The whole logistics of everything and how people get their magic, how the magic of the ruler affects the people. If you guys are interested in that kind of like high fantasy aspect of it, I think you'll really really like this. And then also another thing that I completely love is just the characters. The characters are so fantastic, especially Mara. I absolutely love her because she is struggling to like try to prove herself. She wants to do something for her country. She wants to help the rebels. She doesn't want to be just someone who just stands in the background and waits for them to return from missions and to just sit around doing nothing. She wants to help out. She wants to learn how to fight and she wants to help her cause. Another thing that I love about this is like Kevin from the Irish Reader asked me this on Twitter. The fact that this book is not just focused on romance because as much as I do love my romance and there was some romance elements to this I'm not gonna lie but it was in the central focus there's so much more to this book than that and it is so awesome and the writing is fantastic the world building is fantastic the characters are great I, it had me crying at certain scenes it was just <laughs> It was so great guys. There was a twist, which I, I, I do admit I was kind of expecting, but that's just me because I I overthink storylines of everything. I obviously don't want to say too much on this because I really don't want to spoil anything. You have to read this story to understand things and there's some things that are just tied to the things at the end and they're subtle. I can honestly say that it has been a while since I've been this excited about a book because there's some ties that happened with things. I want to see what happens with Mira and the romancy aspects of it. Like I'm not gonna lie, I am, I am looking forward to that but more than that I'm just looking forward to her development and how the whole magic thing and the evil, especially the evil magic aspects of it, how that's going to come into play and how it's going to affect all the characters, all the seasons and all the non-seasons because there are a couple of countries that aren't specific seasons. If you guys actually read this book, I would love to hear your thoughts on it, so leave them down in the comments below. I really want to hear your thoughts on it if you have read it. If you haven't read it, what are you doing with your life? You need to read this book. Go, go. After you're done with this video, you're gonna go to the bookstore, you're gonna buy this book, you're gonna sit your butt down wherever your preferred reading place is, you're gonna read it, you're gonna love it, and then you're gonna come back and tell me that you love it, okay? Okay. I'm sorry, I don't mean to boss you around, but read it. I need to get better at book reviewing It's just I get too excited and too emotional about books and I just I can't get my thoughts together if you take anything from this be it that this is my favorite book of the year I really really recommend it 
it is an awesome high fantasy novel and I am dying to get my hands on the second book. That is it for this video. I really hope that you guys enjoyed it. I will see you next time. Bye guys!